In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh, and splendor the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. Receive me. You alone, Lord. You alone, the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelations. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who was seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time. Of great distress, they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, 
Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, is part of the people. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on make him based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come to me, all you who are labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. All of the ways that the Beatitudes express our reward. They are they're different ways of of showing the the things that that can give us an image of what our reward is. To be satisfied, to gain our inheritance, to have a share in the kingdom. All of these, all these ways are, are pointing towards the same thing. And yet, we're looking at different qualities. Different qualities that, that might stand out in a person. That might need to stand out because of the circumstances of their life. There are lots of ways to live up to 
God's expectations. But there is only one goal that we can go after. If, all, if the way that we are meant to live up to God's view of our life is going to ring true. From wherever we are, there will only be one path for us. Because there is only one path to the destination that we are meant to go towards. What we strive for will always be the same. And the way that we live that out must be unique. It must be unique because of the circumstances of our lives. But there will always be those things that, that are in common. And that's the, the really great thing about looking at the lives of the saints. As I preach on, on the saints throughout the year, there are so many different ways that, that someone's life stood out and they were recognized for their holiness in this life. There's so many, so many ways because of the circumstances, because of who God created them to be for that moment. And yet, there are so many things in common because what, what really... What really unites all of the saints is that they were trying to lead other people to God. This may have taken a lot of different forms. This may have done, been done in a lot of different ways because of the people they were serving, of the people that God had entrusted to them. To them. But, we must remember that not only in this life, but in the next, the saints are marked by that. The saints are forever, always, trying to get other people to come to God. When, when we ask for the intercession of a saint, it's oftentimes, and, and I, I certainly do this, it's oftentimes asking a saint for prayers. But it could be a lot more. It could be a lot deeper. Because it could be asking a saint to be a part of your life. It could be offering your life, opening it up for that saint to be with you so that you might pray together. Now that's a simple change. It's, it's sometimes, sometimes difficult, but it's a simple change to make in just the mindset that we approach that with. To ask one of the saints to pray with you. What if we, what if we were able to do this and, and make make a, an effort to, to open up our lives to whatever saint it is that day, or to our patron saint that we chose at confirmation, or maybe just our favorite saint, because that's the one that, that we always prayed, we, we always prayed with, with our mother. Whoever it might be, they are just as anxious in this life in this life that, that they know now, as they were in their human life on earth. The life that they lead now is different. And it is something that, it is something that, that seems awfully strange to us at some time. For, for the times that we, that we think about the concern of the saints for us, who have already made it, but we are sure of this, not only, not only because we have seen evidence of it in the past, and for everyone who we have named saints, we see that evidence, but because it, it is so innate to who they were when they walked the earth. We can be sure 
that seeing God's, seeing God's face did not make them less concerned and less loving for their brothers and sisters. Living with God did not, did not make them separate in the way that, that we might seem to think. Because their love only grew when it was united with God's love. When we, when we approach even the idea of asking for prayers from a saint, so often what pops into our mind is, uh, is well, should I ask Mary? Should I ask the, the saint of the day? Should I, should I ask St. Jude because this seems so hard? Should I ask St. Anthony because all I did was lose my keys? You know, there are, there are all sorts of ways that we might think about it. But what if it was something as simple as losing your keys? And instead of asking St. Anthony to simply help you find your keys, ask St. Anthony to be with you for a moment while you look for your keys. Now, obviously, there could be something much deeper than that. And there are times when, when it would benefit us so much for the saints to be with us as we struggled through something. Those are moments when, when the saints want to so badly be a part of your life so that they can continue what they have always loved, which is bringing you closer to God. To allow a saint into your heart, you are allowing someone in who has been there before and who has made it, who knows what the struggle is like and knows that there is something more, that it is worth it. Let us not forget that the saints also had hearts that that had a purity that, that was recognized by people even in this life and have now been transformed by God's love in such a way that we can't imagine. They also have this wonderful power in our lives of helping us to, to understand when the desires of our hearts are not perfect. And what we wish to ask of God is not what we truly need. The saints can help us in those moments to bring peace to that, uh, to that desire, to, to bring us a, a real sense of God leading us, to help us to reshape our hearts, reorient ourselves, so that we really desire what God wishes for us. All of these things start with that same simple thing. Instead of asking a saint for prayers, ask a saint to pray with you, to be with you for just a moment, or to be with you through an entire ordeal. that is quite simple. It's not always very easy in the moment. But its benefits are beyond measure because the saints are those who have made it and whose lives are now touched by the purity that God has given them. As wonderful, as loving, as caring as they were, when they walked the earth. They are now infinitely more so. Let the saints be a part of your life so that they can help you be a part of God's life. They are the ones who have been there before and have made it. Simply allow them in and help so that they can help to guide you 
where they have gone before. Brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Lord and the Father before all ages. And Pontius Pilate, he saw her death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have an end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. I have spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look for the resurrection. And I for the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now turn to our Heavenly Father with our prayers. That our lives reflect the love of Jesus just as those of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all who suffer the violence of war be blessed with lasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all who grieve the loss of a loved one be blessed with healing and acceptance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That our participation in the upcoming election we lead to a world of greater respect for life and commitment to justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray our prayer. That all who gather at the, this feast be blessed with unity in Christ Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray our prayer. Heavenly Father, we lift up these, our prayers to you, and ask that you grant them according to your will. And we lift up all of our loved ones. May you draw them ever closer to yourself and show them your face one day in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Toward her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us, in our frailty, both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you alone. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God living and true in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock, of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, and make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, once supper was ended, he took his chalice 
and in, in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. This Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, and Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray.
As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace, so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With the Holy Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.